what's going on you guys welcome back to the channel in another video today we're gonna be doing a flip cup with all three of the primary colors now normally i wouldn't want to do this but i do have a fourth color which is white and i'm going to be layering white in between the layers of these different colors trying to prevent too many oranges and too many greens from showing up we will see if i'm successful how's everybody doing it is still cold in Phoenix. I'm not understanding it. All right. So the goal is to prevent too many of these colors from mixing. Now you can use this technique too. If you are uh, painting with colors you know create mud, as you can see, I'm trying to avoid letting the, the paints touch each other or churn. I do not want a lot of mixing. Now there is no silicone in any of these colors. So we should have a nice wispy ethereal look to them. Hopefully minimizing the orange and the green. And I'm just alternating colors right now. But if you're painting with colors you know create mud, this is a technique you can use. Ooh, well, we're gonna get green there. <laughs> I'm talking about it. So I should have layered white between that blue and that yellow right there. So we are going to get some green now. And that's okay. A little bit more white. And I need to make the white thinner and thinner because I'm starting to run, run a little low on it. A little bit more. There we go. bit of white we have. Now in theory a lot of this we're doing right now should end up on the bottom so I want to see the difference. So now I didn't put a layer between any of them. layered cup right there. It's very pretty. And boom. Now see, the yellow and the blue combined it created some green right there. But hopefully everything up here that should be on top has a nice layer between that will prevent too much mixing. You're never gonna prevent it all. And I'm seeing a lot of green. <laughs> but it's less green than it would have been if I wouldn't have layered white. I'm trying to pop this big old bubble here. You know what, I, I should add something to this. This needs more. And I do have some extra of that iridescent pearl white. I'm wondering if I can just rip it kind of like I did the silver on that one painting. Create some cool lines. Looks like cells is just bubbles that popped. All right. Well, let's see what we got going on here now. Yeah, man, I almost feel like it needs more because once I spread it, it's just going to have this little bit here. Let's see, what can I do to it? I can do something to it. And I have this small little dotting tool. I do want to make some, maybe some small lines here. I'm 
something small that will expand as we stretch, but I don't want it to take over. So I just want to drag through it. And as you can see, when I drag through it, it's revealing that really dark blue that's underneath. That is awesome. I like that. kind of trying to alter some of these little details. like that blue color that's coming up underneath. That's really bright, really, really nice blue. Now I'm just adding little details. Something that'll be easy to see once we stretch this out. All right, well, I think I'm happy with that. Let's see what we get when we spin it out. Let me grab a stick so I can stop it. And a nice spin. It's actually revealing a whole lot of that red there. Ooh, I like that. We did get a lot of green, and I think the green predominantly came from when we accidentally layered the blue over the yellow. But we still have that defined red, the blue. We have some yellow in there, but that was because of the mixing. But I like that. That looks cool. Let me bring you guys down. We're going to check this thing out. This came out so Almost looks like spider webs traveling throughout this painting. Looks really nifty. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.